Hello, Linnea here with Linnea's Cozy Crafts. Welcome. How's it going? Happy Thursday. So, I want to welcome my new members. I don't know who you are because I didn't get notifications. And um, thank you to those of you who have been here and have been sticking with me. So yesterday, I did not make a video, even though it was my scheduled day to do it. Kylie and I decided to have fun together all day. So that's why I wasn't here. I'm still trying to think of another question for y'all so that you can answer it and get another chance to win a weekly prize, which is a pattern, one of my patterns <clears throat> that I've designed. In the meantime, oh, good news on my Depot Bay cardigan. So I decided to read the directions again for the outer border. Lo and behold, I had completely missed the last sentence of the first paragraph, which told me exactly what to do with the provisional cast on stitches. So I am raring to go as soon as I finish this little wedding package up, which I want to share with you. Okay, so those of you who've been with me for quite some time now, like, 13 months, I guess. Do you remember when I received the paint box yarns along with a couple of other yarns from Loopy Ange over in um, the UK? I finally put them to good use. This one here is called Ballet Pink. Isn't it pretty? This one is raspberry pink which I love that color I love all of these by the way pink is one of my favorite colors <clears throat> and then this one is blush pink so I found oh shoot great it just fell off the other side okay so I don't think I've shown you these they're on my Instagram I did show you the the kitchen towel, right? Once I got it finished, I think I did. Okay, so instead of yellow, green, and white, I made this in those colors. Isn't it cool? I've never done a pattern like this before. One issue I have with crocheted dishcloths, no matter what, they always turn out wonky, even though I crochet them evenly, but it is what it is. I did get a suggestion from Jeanette Whitson over on um, Instagram when I posted a picture of this and complained about my lack of ability to make them come out straight. Um, she suggested to make a three row single crochet border and then start pattern. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. I'll give that a try next time. So there's that. So that one's done. This one took me quite a few hours to make actually like five craziness, craziness. Okay. What is this? Hang on a sec. Oh, that's my headband. I gotta shorten that one. Okay. And then I made these four coasters. Actually I made these four coasters first. I'll show them to you. And these come from Joy of Motion. Her name is Jan, J-A-N-N-E, and I forget her last name. She's, she's uh, lives in Norway, in Norway, and she is Norwegian. Really nice gal. And she has this coaster pattern called Nordic Textured Coasters. So two of them I made with the... Um, the crab stitch around, which is also known as reverse single crochet. And I'm going to have to show you my trick to do that so much easier than the actual reverse because it comes out exactly the same. And I learned it from Mr. Wooly Bear over on Instagram at Darren Morris. Norris. Darren. Anyway, Darren. Okay, so here are these. This is two of them. They're exactly like these two. I put the crab stitch on. And then these two 
I just did two rows of single crochet all around them. Be cute. So those are going in. And that finished up that skein of yarn, which was the Hobby Lobby Deep Turquoise. That made me happy. So that's another Scorched Earth Project finished. And, and I'm naming all anything that I make this year from my stash, which I'm working from, is going to be a Scorched Earth Challenge. And on my Ravelry page, I just have it as S-E-C, Scorched Earth Challenge. So, and the, what number project it is. And then the name of the pattern at the top. And then I saw this cute sunflower dishcloth. And I thought, oh, I want to make that for her, But I'm going to do it in pinks. So, because I'm trying to work through these and get them all gone. And so I used the raspberry pink for the center of it. And then I used the blush pink for the petals. Isn't that cute? I'll try to get it here so it's... Isn't that cute? So to me, it's a peony instead of a sunflower. So there's that. And then I found another pattern that I'm going to make for, for them, for their wedding package. So I'm going to make them... I'm hoping that there's enough of these yarns to make four dishcloths to put in the package. Oops my yarn back. Okay. So let's see. Oh, and I was going to do a trade of yarn with Hyatt's Chris. She has 11 skeins of Lamb's Wolf or Lamb's Pride by Brown Sheep. Sadly, I had to back out of it because it has mohair in it which I'm allergic to mohair. It's only 15%, but I'm not willing to take that chance and set myself off into a horrible allergic reaction. So I had to back out of it. Although I did ask her if there's any other wool in the yarns that she got that she's wanting to trade. So we'll see. I don't know. So there's that. What else? What else? What else? So I talked about my Depot Bay card again. I showed you the, the projects. I guess I'll show you the bag of yarn that my neighbor gave me next. Hang on. I'll be right back. It's just right over here. If I don't fall over, look at this huge bag. Can you even believe it? I was so surprised when she came over and showed me. She says, here you go. Like, what? And I thought, oh no, I'm trying to get rid of yarn. <laughs> but it's all good. It was given to me, so I cannot complain. So I'll just show you some of them. I really like this one, and it is an acrylic. It, I don't know, it can't be because it's called roving. It's Bernat Roving. Let's see what it says it is here. No, it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So yeah, it's not feltable, I don't think with the acrylic in it, but isn't that pretty green? Woo, look at the furby green. I shouldn't tease her like that. I know that her favorite color is green. And then this one I'm calling frog green. There's no label to it. I'm not sure what brand it is. I do know that it is acrylic, but isn't that a pretty green? And then there's Patton's Fairy Tale DK, and y'all know I love my DK weight yarn, and isn't that a beautiful white? So pretty. And then this, I was really excited about. This is Kid Silk Haze, y'all. And I, oh, here, I'll grab that one out of it. It's, um, this stuff is real, has a high halo to it. And normally, I don't work with one like this, but it's so beautiful. And there's two other uh, balls of it in there. But it's very halo-y. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? How halo-y it is? See, there you go. So I won't be able to work with it a whole, um, like for a long time at a time, I guess you'd say. But I've got a scarf pattern that I 
made years ago <clears throat> that you hold this together with another smooth yarn and it's oh, so beautiful so beautiful i've made it i've made a couple of them i won't be able to keep it because i can't wear it either because it makes me itch but and break out and break out in um hives but it'll be a nice gift for somebody and then the, the these this this type of yarn is one of these in here which is great for um trims of things like hats mitts um maybe a little a little section of it in a sweater or something just to add a difference so that's fun oh wow i didn't see this one before okay so this is by unger and it's called whimsy let's see what the content is that I'm, I'm talking about the blue this is exactly like the blue but it's pink <laughs> fun okay oh really that's why i have problems with it it's 70 percent mohair and it is 30% wool. So that's why I have issues with it. Okay. Well, I'm still going to make something with it. I just have to go very carefully. So pretty. And then we've got Patton's. Where are you? Patton's Canadiana. I've never seen this one. This is... It's pretty pink. Isn't that pretty? I'm trying to see what the content is. It's machine washable, so it's got to be acrylic. Yep, 100% acrylic. It's, oh, it's, it's nice and soft. I like that. Oh, my goodness. And here's another Unger. This is Utopia. That's a pretty color. Ooh, these two would look pretty together. Let me say. This is kind of a Robin's Egg blue I would call it 100% acrylic okay and there's some nice variegated this is really pretty not sure what brand it is but it's soft I'm thinking it might be a yarn bee feels like it might be I wonder if that's my grandkids oh no somebody else's grandkids oh Ah, oh, they're cute. So if you hear kids in the background, it's not mine. It is the neighbor's grandkids over, or maybe even his great grandkids. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how old Dale is. He's a nice man, though. We like him as a neighbor. Nice and quiet. And then there's this pretty cotton yarn. Isn't that pretty? It's really silky. I wish I could get the sheen on it to show. Can you see the sheen? Oh, yeah, you can right there. Isn't that pretty? I won't go through all of them. i just show you the highlight. Oh, there's two of these. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's Karen Simply Soft. Oh, how funny because it does not look splitty at all. Woohoo! Nice. See? Karen Simply Soft. It's the colorway. Baby Brights. That's cute. So we've got two of these. Sweet. Oh, there's more of this and, oh, more of this. So I have two, I have two of the pinks. So I can hold it. It's just when I go to work with it that it gives me issues. Oh, and somebody, okay, and there's another part ball and then another Heart ball. Is this? Hmm, let me see here a minute. I don't know that that's the same. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it is. I don't know. It looks the same, but yet it looks different to me. I don't know. I'll let y'all be the judges of this, but um, yeah, I don't think it is. I don't think it's the same yarn. This is a different yarn, but another real pretty light blue. It's a little, it's got a little bit of a halo. That's why I thought it was the other, but it's not. And, ooh, oh, this is a hot mess. <laughs> Good thing I like to untangle, huh? It's a pretty pink. I like that. And then, oh, 
Oh, these make great. This is the dishcloth yarn. Oh, and look at those pretty colors in that. Isn't that pretty? You got a lavender or a purple, and you got blue, and then the bright green. I'm trying to get it in the lights. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I love this stuff. Love it. I know a lot of people have problems with it when they go to crochet with it, but I have not had any problem with it yet. And then we've got, ooh, yes, we've got, I love this yarn in a pretty yellow. That's a big skein, too. How many ounces is this? Oh, come on. Where are you? Hmm. I don't see it. It's made in Turkey. Their turkeys were not telling me how many yarns are in. I'm sure it says it on here somewhere. Hmm. It's called Buttercup. Oh, that's a cute name for it. Well, I'll have to look it up and see how many yarns it is. Anyway, love this. I do love this yarn. It's one of my favorite, absolute favorites for knitting and crocheting with. And then we've got... Oh, I love Hometown. This is Hometown USA. It is a number five. Let's make sure. No, I lied. It's a number six, so it's super bulky. Isn't that a pretty gray? So pretty. What's the color of it? Color name is Fayetteville Frost. It's kind of cool. And we've got a penguin baby weight so that i'm gonna call that sport weight oh can you see it it's fairly light fairly lightweight so that's nice oh two of those and i'll show you one more We've got a lot of white yarn in here um oh this one's pretty let's show you this one it's another no label but oh that's a fun one that would be pretty with the yellow, wouldn't it? To intersperse somehow. Oh, that is definitely an I love this yarn. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Okay, that's all I'll show you. There's a nice, great, big, huge ball of white in here. Oh, there's a Lion Brand Banner's Choice. That's a pretty color. Taupe Brumeau. Oh, taupe mist. That's pretty, huh? Isn't that pretty? Bag of Day would like this because it's shades of brown. Crystal loves her browns. I like browns. Um, oh, in there. Oh, okay. I'll show you one more. Simply soft. Oh, Crystal would love this color. I'm going to call it mahogany, and they're calling it chocolate. Either way. It's very pretty. It's got a little bit of a red to the brown there. You see that more on the end? There we go. More on the end there. You can see it. Anyway, nice, 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 nice. Um, I am willing to part with some of this, so it might go in a giveaway or I might do a trade. Um, but that's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of nice yarns in here. Here's another green. I don't know if that's Karen Simply Soft. It's not Red Heart. It's too light for Red Heart. Might be I Love This Yarn. It might be. I think this is an I Love This Yarn. So, yeah. Pretty cool. She brought that over, uh, was it late last week, I think? That she brought it over. I just hadn't really gone through it a whole lot. I'd gone through what I could see on the top. But other than that, I haven't really gone through it much. So, yeah. I love getting yarn. And it doesn't count against my Scorch Earth because I didn't buy it. I didn't even ask for it. It was all gifted to me. So, that's pretty cool. So, nobody can say I'm cheating. <laughs> Not that any of you would. Unless you were just joking. Because I know some of you are jokesters like I am. So, yeah, makes me very happy. I think I'll probably sort it 
and then get it over to storage because it doesn't need to be around here because I'll show you what Jax has already done. Oh, bugger, I tell ya. There's the hole in it. There's a hole in here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Now it's on the bottom, but you see that right here? My little dumpling. Oh, well, you know, your cats and yarns. What can you do? All right. Um, I still cannot think of a question. So um, I guess I'll end it for now. I remind you, oh, make so make sure that you go back to Monday's video, watch it, look down in the description box for the weekly question and answer it. If you've already put a comment on, go ahead and edit, add the answer to your um, comment so that you get in the drawing for tomorrow because tomorrow is the weekly drawing. Oh, and also... Karen Wright has not sent me an email telling me that she's won my weekly giveaway last week. So, Karen, if you don't send me an email by this evening, we're going to have two winners tomorrow. So, I don't want you to get replaced. That would make me sad. So, I don't know what's going on. She might be going through something. She, who knows? Who knows? But you have to answer within the week between the giveaway draws. So there we go. All right. I love you all. Remember to be kind. Be blessed. Stay blessed. Mwah. Ciao for now.